This is a Miu Mini Plus. I've had this console for about six months, and I really enjoyed it, so I recently picked up a couple more to give as Christmas gifts. Me being me, I wanted them to be ready to go with Onion OS. In setting these new minis up, I realized it could be a bit complicated for newcomers. In today's video, I'm going to give a quick walkthrough on getting set up with Onion OS on the Miu Mini Plus, and give a quick overview of some of its cool features. For anyone who doesn't know, the Miu Mini Plus is an emulation handheld capable of playing games from the Atari up through the PlayStation 1. While there are tons of this type of emulation handheld out there, the Miu Mini has developed a bit of a cult following, largely due to its compatibility with Onion OS, a custom firmware that modernizes and improves upon the stock operating system. So, let's get started installing Onion. The first thing you'll need is an SD card. Many of the Miu Minis you buy online will have one of these included, and while these included cards generally aren't the best quality, in the name of cost savings, I'm going to go ahead and use it anyway. Before we start, we'll need the SD card to be formatted as FAT32. One note before formatting, if you're new to retro gaming and don't have your own ROM collection, you may want to go through and copy some or all of the ROMs from the stock SD card onto your computer. Otherwise, you'll be stuck obtaining your ROMs elsewhere. To format, on a PC, plug in your SD card and go to this PC in File Explorer. Then right click and hit Format. Make sure FAT32 is selected and hit OK. One quick note here from future me, if your SD card is larger than 32GB, you'll need to use another tool such as Mini Tool Partition Wizard to format your card, as FAT32 won't be listed as an available format. Once installed, you just find your SD card, delete the existing partition, create a new partition in FAT32 format, and click Apply. The second thing you'll need is a Miu Mini Plus with a compatible base firmware. To check this, navigate to Settings and then Device Info. Onion lists the compatible base firmware options on the Onion website, linked in the description below. If your Miu Mini Plus doesn't have one of these base firmwares, you'll need to update it before installing Onion. Don't worry though, this is pretty simple. Just take your freshly formatted SD card, navigate to the link in the description below to download the newest base firmware, right click and extract. Go into the folder, then the second zip folder, and copy the .img firmware file to the root of your SD card. Then eject your SD card. Put the SD card into your Miu Mini Plus and plug it into power. It should then power on automatically and display the rocket ship icon to indicate the firmware is upgrading. You'll know the update is complete once the charging icon appears. At this point, if you completed this step, you can power down your console and reformat your SD card. Now you'll need to install Onion. This process is essentially the same. You'll download the Onion firmware, linked in the description below. Extract the contents to the root of your SD card. Eject your SD card and put it back in the console. Plug the console into power and you'll see that Onion OS is installing. After Onion has finished installing, you'll be brought to the Package Manager. In the Verified menu, you'll want to enable any systems you have ROMs for. This will add the core and create the corresponding ROMs folder. Then, in the Apps tab, you'll want to select Onion OTA Update. This will allow you to upgrade the firmware over Wi-Fi in the future. Feel free to add anything else you're interested in, and you can always access this menu later by going to Apps Package Manager. At this point, you should be up and running with Onion OS. Now, it's time to add your ROMs. Power down the console and plug the SD card back into your computer. Navigate to the ROMs folder on your SD card, find the system you'd like to add ROMs for, and drop any ROMs into the corresponding system folder. Once all of your ROMs have been transferred, you can eject your SD card and put it back in the console. The newest Onion version also includes the ability to scrape box art. To do this, you'll need to be connected to Wi-Fi. Then, navigate to the system you'd like to scrape, click the Y button on any ROM, 
and navigate down to Scrape. From here, you can scrape one or all of your box art. I find Screen Scraper to be the best option here, but they do require you create an account on their website, and you'll have to enter those credentials in the Scraper configuration menu. Once you have your firmware upgraded and or Onion installed on your MIUI Mini Plus, you should be ready to play. That said, if you're feeling patient, there are a couple more things I'd like to mention. The first thing I wanted to show is the Nintendo DS Core, Drastic. I was going to explain how to add the system manually. However, as I was making this video, an update was released for Onion which integrated Drastic natively into Onion's beta version. So if you're interested in DS emulation, download the beta version of Onion rather than the stable. Then it'll be available in the system list with no additional work. One of the great things about Onion is how active the developer community is with new features being released all the time. The second thing I wanted to show you is the HTTP server function. If you navigate to Apps, Tweaks, Network, and turn on HTTP web-based file sync, this will allow you to add or edit ROM files right from your computer with no cables. Once enabled, just go to the settings and note your Miu Mini Plus IP address. Then, on your computer, type the IP address into any web browser, and you'll be able to access all the files on your Miu Mini. This makes it significantly easier to add games or fix any file issues. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know if there are any consoles you'd like to see covered on the channel. Hit subscribe for more videos like this, and thanks for helping me bring it back.